Hello everyone, and welcome to HyPets. My name is Adrian, and I'm a third-year HyPet student working on neuroprosthetics. HyPet stands for High Performance Embedded and Distributed Systems. It's an umbrella term for technology spanning miniaturized sensors to vast interconnected systems, with an emphasis on how to achieve high performance in these challenging scenarios. I'm Ida, and I'm a third-year HyPet student working on medical image computing. The mission and vision of HyPets is to train the next generation of experts that will tackle challenging and complex problems. Whether it is augmented reality, medical implants or secure cloud databases, a novel blend of knowledge and know-how is required to make these scenarios a reality. Here are some current students sharing their experiences with us. My name is Daniel, I'm from Brazil, where I did my undergrad in computer engineering at PUC Rio. I did a Master's of Engineering at the Ecole Centrale Paris in France before coming to Imperial for iPads. My research is about developing statistical machine learning methods to improve medical image analysis, in particular neuroimaging. And one application I'm currently working on is standardizing MRI scans from different hospitals so that we can aggregate the data into a consistent large-scale database. And why is this important? Because bigger data means better predictive models for diagnosis or clinical research for example, evaluating traumatic brain injury damage or tracking neurodegenerative diseases. Hello, uh, my name is Nicolas. I'm from Cyprus. Uh, I came to Imperial seven years ago to do my undergrad in electrical engineering, after which I joined HyPets. HyPets is all about embedded and distributed systems, which means it's the ideal place if you want to work with the most embedded and distributed device there is, the computer microchip. My research focuses on designing circuits and systems that are integrated on tiny computer microchips. The catch, however, is that they are used to interface with chemistry. Essentially, what we're doing is designing electronics that are chemically compatible while still using the exact same processes and methods that are used to design all electronics and chips around us. We then use these chemically compatible electronics as sensors in order to apply inputs that are chemical, um, for example the pH or the ion concentration of a solution to otherwise conventional or standard electronic circuits. Our latest chip is this one. The shiny square in the middle includes a large array of our sensors inside this microchip um, and which is used to detect ion activity taking place right here on this surface. This technology is really up and coming and it has a plethora of applications ranging from making miniaturized sensors for implantable or wearable devices to something as elaborate as, elaborate as making microarrays for DNA detection. My name is Julian and I'm from, uh, from Belgium. I'm a PhD student in the HyPed CDT at Imperial. And uh, before this, I was doing a four-year master's at Imperial. I'm now, uh, so now I'm studying for a PhD in, in formal logic, specifically uh, about uh, program logics. So we look at verifying properties of computer programs using logic, that we, uh, logics we develop. I focus on concurrent computer programs and being able to prove their termination. And th this fits under the HyPEDS umbrella by um, because uh, we, we want to be able to prove certain properties of uh, embedded and distributed systems in general. So for example, there's a property called eventual consistency that guarantees that all replicas of a distributed system will eventually know the same thing. And this is quite useful, for example, for Facebook. Uh, it, it, Facebook is quite interested in this because it wants to be able to know that if you send a message, eventually the recipient will receive it. Hi, my name is Emanuele and I come from Italy. My background is computer science, which I have studied in Italy at the University of Cagliari and the University of Pisa. I came to London four years ago, and before starting my PhD, I worked for two years in the finance sector as a software engineer. My PhD research focuses on domain-specific optimizations for computer vision algorithms. Essentially, my goal is to enable efficient real-time vision on embedded and mobile devices. Uh, the technologies I work on are one of the main components in cutting-edge applications such as augmented reality, virtual reality or domestic robotics. I am very lucky to have an industrial partnership with ARM which gives me the opportunity to collaborate with industry partners and get unique perspectives on my research and its applicability to a wide range of consumer products. 
interested in joining us? If you're excited by working across disciplines and cultures, if you want to develop the key engineering skills of tomorrow, if you want to change the way technology works for the world, then HyPET will be a good home for you.